Hi, <laughs> you're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media. Today is special because it is we're we are kicking off the 2019 season of Sipping yes, Off the Cuff on National Margarita, Margarita Day. Day. So yes. What, so what are Dave and I? By the way, I'm here, at Mike Morales of San Antonio, and that gentleman is. Dave Genius, I'm in Reno, Nevada. What are Dave and I doing that is so different and so special this year? For National Margarita Day, we are dissecting and analyzing Laughing Glass Margarita Mix. Margarita. So this is a ready-to-drink margarita mix. And if you look, there's a there's a parental advisory sticker <laughs> right yep. there. Public safety announcement. Public safety announcement, PSA. It says, spicy spicy it's a big red serve dot sticker it's like an extra or sticker. else yeah it says serve on the rocks or else okay now we're we're gonna go or else yes we are because we're not afraid all nope. right we're not afraid here at tequila aficionado <laughs> we will tell you we, this is actually the first time that that we've ever dissected and tasted a margarita mix, a ready to drink margarita mix. Ready to drink, uh, it is laughing glass on on tequila aficionado. We, normally, these are done by by Lisa and I. We do them off camera, and uh, the first the first two iterations of laughing glass won a gold and silver medal from yes. us in the ready to drink category, the RTD category. If you know this or not is a huge huge category that it we're, is. we're really the only website that that is uh recognizing brands who Any are who are giving you know uh who are uh, have products on the ready to drink market using real tequila all right yep laughing glass this has is, a gnome has a gnome for is that 1488 uh where they get their their tequila 1489 uh, 89 i'm sorry i'm sorry to, um, my apologies to 1488. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to use my Stossel Jarrito. So was I. Al, uh, Dave and I, we were uh, we were really had a fun interview with Carrie Clayhan. One of the this is a female driven, female owned business. Mm -hmm. uh, Carrie Clayhan and her partner uh, Sydney Raymond Smith. I hope I'm pronouncing her last name correctly. Smith. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they own Laughing Glass, and they have a wonderful story. Um, and you can listen to that story and watch it on, on Tequila Aficionado's Facebook page. They are really some cool gals. They are. Very. Carrie is such a sweet gal. And yeah, nice she went lady. out of her way to come see us there in Monterey and just well, had a very good interview. Yeah, um, very in-depth. Of course, we had it over margaritas. And yes. this is the this is the newest iteration. Of, what are they calling it? Firecracker. Firecracker. Ancho chili and ancho. pineapple. Ancho is really hot these days. Not just because it's hot, but it's also a it's a, it's the chili of the year. You know, it's a, it's the it's the spice that people have been using a lot in their in their drinks. Um, yep. And th you know, when she, Carrie told the story that when um, uh, this is available at, uh, at Whole Foods. When Whole Foods asked them to come up with some some uh, different versions yeah, to do a private label ones. to do their line for just them, uh, she brought several different flavors, different different yeah. iterations. And she said, "I didn't even think that this was going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. They chose this. They chose it. So they did. that's why you know, just like the just like the the hot coffee warning at a McDonald's." <laughs> this has got the spicy warning spicy. on the bottle, and I can tell you that you can see us. Uh, you, uh, part of that interview was was actually tasting the 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 cold version. That means on ice. <laughs> on ice. Uh, when when all of us tasted it, but we have, again on tequila aficionado, we've never done. Uh, these are on on our uh, on sipping off the cup, and we're doing it at room temperature, okay? Yep. Which is rare because even when we taste these RTDs, these ready to drinks, we taste them on ice as if you were being served at a barbecue yeah. at a restaurant. But we want to get nothing but the mix itself. We want to get this in our. We don't want to water it down. Yeah. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna water it down because you know, 
uh, some of these some of these mixes are are better on ice and are lose their charm at room temp because yes. let's face it let's face it Dave how many times have you been to a to a party somebody hands you a margarita or you've made <laughs> one and then you're busy barbecuing or you're talking and then you come back to your drink Jump back it's, to it and it's all. watered down and, it, and it's warm yes. but but you know and then and depending on the mix that they're using it loses the characteristics and then and then you either, you either want another shot of tequila to, to even it out <laughs> or you dump it and you want another cold one right always want another shot <laughs> yeah well you know don't say no to another shot but let's face it some of these some of these mixes lose their charm when they when when they're watered down and they get warm okay so mm -hmm. let's let's put this through its paces and find out what it's like at room temp and this is what they're saying on the back of the bottle. We add tropical pineapple, citrus, and the smoky warmth of ancho chilies. But don't worry. There's just enough sweet to beat the heat. 110 calories per four-ounce serving. You can spice up your life guilt-free. Ooh. I now, know. Right off, the, right off the bat, I get pineapple. 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 The pineapple. Pineapple. And I don't smell I, which... I, I, yeah, I don't smell the ancho chili, and you're not really supposed to, honestly. Right. Um, what I smell is pineapple right up the bat, right off the nose, and and down at the bottom. Uh, now we're using our Stossel Jarritos, which is, which yes, is yeah. really rare to be using a an agave uh, a glass made specifically for agave spirits to taste a ready to drink margarita. But but we're going the extra mile, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing it. We're doing Just it. For, we're going against the, we're we're going against the grain, so you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that pineapple smell, man. It, yeah, it smells like fresh pineapples, pineapple it juice. Uh, it's you can see the color. It, it's it's murky. It looks like it looks like fresh squeezed pineapple juice. Yep, it, it's a pineapple color. The, at the very bottom of this glass, I can I can get the alcohol coming out of the um, the uh, the, out of the just, tequila. Just a little, not just a, a lot. little, not a whole lot. I mean, it's only what. Was it 14, 13 percent? 12 percent. It's 12 percent. This one's also 12 percent. Yeah, this so it's not, there's not a whole lot of, 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 of stuff to, you know, a lot of uh, um, tequila that's going to come up and right. make you feel bad. I got to taste it. I, I, I love the pineapple smell. This is really refreshing it, to me. It does smell good. Yeah. I, I even prefer it myself. I prefer it more over the pomegranate, but that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> Yep. All right, let's go. Whoa. Ah. That ancho. There it is. Yep, you can't smell it, but there it is. There it is. And I got to tell you, here's the thing. If you watch the video of our cold, mm -hmm. when I say cold tasting, that means it, it was, it was. we, we so asked the bar nice. behind us to give us some ice. Yep. And we had it in glasses on ice. The, the really remarkable part was how much the ancho chili really just exploded on your palate like like we had some of the uh, some of the tequilas you get that white yeah. pepper right yep. at mid palate it went boom and that was even cold that was that was you could taste it it wasn't numbing in other words the ancho didn't numb it's, in it's the not cold. too hot no it's not too hot but it's got a peppery flavor that's coming up at you yeah Not and, deep. and then it just disappears it just it, it explodes at mid palate almost almost and the, at the entry then the pineapple kind of takes over and Same. as and in the finish it's got a i gotta tell you it's got a great finish mm -hmm. but that the and now the ancho kind of takes over the show because you <laughs> do get that you get that you know you're you've got ancho chili and you yep. you've it, it's like a roasted smoke you know i don't i'm i lived in new mexico for 15 years sure. so during green chili season for those of you listening to us in, <laughs> in the southwest you know what i'm talking about you know you're roasting the green chilies in these barrels and all you can smell up and down the street is just roasting green chilies yeah well, this has got that same smoky the, the chili has been roasted yep uh in order to in order to to be uh, infused into this mix so this any smoke you get is from a a an ancho chili that has been right. roasted 
Right. And that brings out the oils as well. So uh, I this is this is my favorite, man. It, even even at room temp, it's really it's good. Pretty good. It is pretty good. It is my favorite too. Mm. That ancho kind of stays with you a little bit more in the second sip. Well, you know, uh, depending again, they're using a tequila that uh, that the distillery is known for having a diffuser. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if it if the if you've ever had a margarita, <clears throat> excuse me, margarita, or yeah, <clears throat> or or you've had some salsa to go with yeah. the chips, and somebody makes a salsa with habaneros, or they make a pretty, particularly picante sauce, right, and then you have alcohol with it, whether it's a beer or rum or a margarita, what yeah. happens is that the chili, the oils in the chili. Are reactivated the cap the capsaicin I think is what how it's pronounced cap, capsaicin capsaicin, capsaicin. It, it's oil and it's yep. reactivated by the alcohol yep so you that's why you continuously can you you keep tasting it over and over again and yeah it, and it lingers so it does exactly what it's supposed to but if you like that and I like it I, I like you know the chili first of all chilies yeah. have endorphins in it, <laughs> mm -hmm. right. Green, yep. Jalapenos, green chilies, they're known for their endorphins. They give you this great feeling. We yes. know that living, having lived in New Mexico, that, <laughs> you know, especially in the winter days, you know, you want some green chili because it makes you feel better. It clears the sinuses. It warms you up. Oh, yeah. It's like a good bowl of chili, right? Yep. So this does the same thing. Mm -hmm. and, and what I loved about it is it cold, Dave. Yeah, the ancho came right through. It did not it, numb itself. It wasn't dumbed down no. by the ice. No, it wasn't. It was. It still stood up, definitely. Um, what do you think? Are, are we in agreement here, Brand of Promise yeah. nominee? Let's go, Brand of Promise. I, I, I. This is this is my favorite of of the three, of the three. and that's yes. just my own personal opinion. Because, because you know, here, here in the in in Texas, you know, we. Uh, there are certain brands that are using uh, green chili, and they're regional brands. This right. is a, this is a uh, Laughing Glass is quickly becoming a national brand. Yep. I mean, really quickly. So, um, what can I tell you, ladies and gentlemen? You have had a full line of Laughing Glass, uh, and be aware you've got the PSA up there. It is spicy. <laughs> Spicy. If your if your palate is not you know if you're not if you're not fully aware of what to expect, be be surprised because we were surprised. Yes. Uh, and it not doesn't much. it isn't numbed in the cold. No. But but it's so good for National Margarita Day. Yes. Oh my goodness. So where can they find this? Uh, Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Uh, what was the other one you were saying? I said uh, I've saw I've actually seen bottles of it in the, uh, the Alpha Beta stores. I'm not even sure if they're still. There's so many of these brands uh, that 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 come and go that these uh, uh, supermarkets. But uh, check out their website, okay? Because their website will tell you where they're located. Follow them on social media. Yes, yes. Go to Instagram. Go to Twitter. Go to Facebook. They are very active there as they well. They are. Um, and, and so that's our take on Laughing Glass, Brand of Promise nominee in, in the ready to drink category. This is the firecracker. You've got to look for this, ladies and gentlemen. This would be great not only for today on National Margarita Day, but Fourth of July, Mother's Fourth Day. Fourth of July would be Fourth great. Fourth of July, yeah. Memorial Day. Yes. Uh, the nice warm holidays. Yeah. Nice warm um, days sitting on the patio. This is great at room temp, but Taste it, on ice. taste it on ice, folks. And then tell us what you think in the comments. If you're watching us on YouTube, you know, please, please subscribe. If you're listening to us anywhere today on Facebook, National Margarita Instagram, Day. Anywhere. Anywhere. Twitter. Twitter. You know, keep keep an eye out for these folks. It's a female-driven business. Congratulations it is. to Carrie. Carrie Clayhan yep. and, and Sydney Raymond Smith for 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 oh, gosh, for laughing glass. Ladies. And yep. gents, it's only 110 calories, okay? Enjoy yep. it. And for National Margarita Day, like like Dave and I, I, I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio. 
my God. That man again out there is. <laughs> there he goes. That's, my big glass. That's Dave. Where are you, Dave, again? In, in I'm Reno? in Reno. You're I'm in snowy, Reno. Snowy Reno. Uh, whatever you do for National Margarita Day, tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely.